So hopefully you've watched the first video giving the overview of how the Computing at School course hangs together in Cisco's Networking Academy program in NetSpace. So here you go, let's have a look at a little bit more. As you know, it's based on the Curriculum Pathways document, We're looking at the Communications and Network strand, and previously we had a look at the pink section with some idea of what's in there, which is notionally kind of key stage one, key stage two. Let's move it up a bit now and have a look at the blue section. So remembering here's our main index, we can go straight into the blue section here. In the blue section, the learning objectives are all about using search engines, understanding how they work, combining internet services, and some e-safety. So each section's got content in, which is PowerPoints, links off to the web, videos, and other content. It's got a bunch of activities, which are usually downloadable documents or web-based activities. It's got an assessment, usually 10 multi-choice questions, and some extra activities if people want more stuff to do. So going straight in, here's our presentation to start with, all about how the web works. Here we're looking at it in the viewer, so we can scroll down and look at it in the viewer. Obviously we can actually download the presentation, so here I've got it downloaded, and we're talking about how web crawlers work, how they look at one page, look at all the links that are based on that page, and look at and create the list of all the pages that are linked from that first page. They then go to one of those pages and look at all the links that are listed from there. And they go to other pages from there and look at all the links that are listed from there. So the web crawler basically trawls through the internet, finding all the interconnected web pages and providing an index, which is what we search when we search Google. To back that up, we then have videos. The first thing to understand is that when you do a Google search, you aren't actually searching the web. You're searching Google's index of the web, or at least as much of it as we can find. We do this with software programs called spiders. Spiders start by fetching a few web pages, then they follow the links on those pages and fetch the pages they point to, and follow all the links on those pages and fetch the pages they link to, and so on, until we've indexed a pretty big chunk of the web many billions of pages stored across thousands of machines. So the other learning objectives for this particular section are about using internet services. So what we might do is go to a particular web page, so I'm going to go to www.bcu.ac.uk and it should come as no surprise that hey presto I get to that web page. So what we've done is we've created some videos in Packet Tracer explaining how that works. www pcu.ac.uk and we'll hit go. Now when we hit go what we're actually doing is we're running this in simulation mode so I'm just going to minimize this down out of the way for the moment and I'm going to hit play and what we can do in this mode is we can see the request coming forward. So here's a request going out to the ISP out oh here it comes, sorry I missed it first time to the internet and up to the web server. The web server is serving the page and it's going back all the way to Bob's laptop. And if we have a look what's happening in Bob's laptop now, we're going to get back hold of that page. Here you go, you can see the page is starting to come down. You can see it's carrying on making more requests. It's because to build a web page there's actually several requests. There was our welcome BCU header. Uh, some links there. I'm guessing the bit that's taking a little while to come down is actually the picture because it's looking like it's got several packets and there you go there's a picture. And just like all the sections there's a bit on e-safety this is about what children should do if they've got concerns and a whole bunch of organizations that they should be aware of. Then there's a video on digital safety here talking about privacy on the internet and how people need to be aware of what they're posting. Next we move into the activities of the blue section and uh, this is the first one where there's actually activity based on Packet Tracer. So the video we saw earlier, the kids can actually download and run the network simulation tool and see those packets for real. There's a bit about researching topics on the internet and if you've never seen the one about the Pacific Northwest Tree Octopus, it's well worth a great research. There's also a Packet Tracer game to go and have a play with. And finally, just like all the sections, there's a quiz. So here's one about search engines. Obviously, we've been doing this particular chapter. One about what URLs are and what they stand for. Stuff about the web crawlers that we've been looking at. 
stuff about how email actually works and finally some e-safety based questions. So finally, how do you get access to all these amazing resources? Well, go to the website http double forward slash cs.co, which is Cisco's shortened thing, forward slash computing for schools course. If you go to that URL, you'll see the full path of where it is. It's in our blog site created by Cisco. And this will explain a lot of what we've talked about. And most importantly, it'll give you the link about how to become a Cisco Academy. If you're a secondary school and want to run Cisco Academy classes for your own students, then you can do that. If you're at primary school, then at the moment we're recommending you just join a class as a teacher and get access to all the resources. Good luck.